Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to share how I will um, adjust and customize a library object, it, how it looks in plan view. Let's get started. Thanks so much for watching my videos and clicking the like button down there for subscribing and for commenting. I, I really appreciate and enjoy the, uh, the communication back and forth. Do you find these videos, I know you find these videos helpful because you say you do. Would you consider supporting me for the price of a cup of coffee each month? Over at patreon.com slash design build solutions, you can find several different tiers of support in uh, ways that can get you help as well if you need that. Check it out, patreon.com slash design build solutions. Thanks so much. Let's get into today's tip. I have dropped in here a laundry hookup uh, library object and it works well because it uh, shows the, the 3D view and the plan view but in my walls here it does not do well uh, when you have the pocheted walls and I would like it to you know really stand out in plan view so I want to show you how I'm going to do that we'll have to make a custom object custom library object and that it's fairly simple actually I'm going to select the object here and right down here I'm going to open the library symbol for editing and the reason for that is I want to go into the 2d block and see what CAD block it is using washer water hookup underscore two. Now I'm going to hit the V for Victor key on my keyboard and that pulls up my CAD block management dialog box and W on the keyboard for water or washer water hookup and I'm going to insert that in the plan view. Insert right there. And I'm going to switch to working plan view. And I would probably need to turn on the CAD CD plan because that's the layer that was inserted on. There we go. And I'm going to explode that block. Right now I'm just working with lines and circles and not a block. So I'm going to take this um, three-sided polyline and just go ahead and close it to make a closed polyline so that we can open that. Command E on my Mac. If you're on a PC, it's Control E. And change the fill style, fill style to solid type and use background color is white. Now that covered up the circles, so I'm going to actually just take this um, filled polyline and now you know what I'm gonna do it I was gonna send it backwards but that may affect how it looks in the plan view <clears throat> whether or not that's going to um, would would cover the uh, wall or not uh, but actually that might work I think if we just do want go backwards one so right here is on the when I select that polyline is the view draw order edit tools and I'm just going to go backwards one. So it's going to go at the bottom of, of uh, drawing group 21. It's still on 21, but it's at the bottom of 21. See how the under 21 is now underlined. So it could be on the top of 21 or the bottom of 21. We want it on the bottom of 21. Now the circles are visible. This is a solid fill uh, polyline. And I'm going to select all of those. And I'm going to block that up together. Now this CAD block, I'm going to open it, Command E, again Control E, and give it a, a Control E if you're on a PC. Give it the name, uh, Washer Water Hookup. Yes. Now we have a CAD block that's not connected to a 3D object yet. To do that, we go back to our open 
the symbol for editing here in CAD block. Water washer hookup, or washer water hookup. And there it is now covering the wall um, for you know better uh, better visibility in the uh, in the plan view. Lastly, what I'd have to do is now add this to my um, library. I'm going to change the name. Tim's washer hookup and I'm going to right click cut that and put that in my yeah, scroll 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 I've got a lot of I want that in my rooms new folder laundry and we'll paste that into the laundry there we go tim's washer hookup so now anytime that i drop this um, into my plan it will automatically be i don't have to do that all over again so there you go how we can adjust the way a um, adjust and customize the way a library object looks in plan view is to find the, um, first of all, find out the name of the CAD block that it's using. Uh, hit, I hit the V on my keyboard, pulls up your CAD block management and insert that into your plan so you can explode that block and adjust it the way you want it to look. Re, um, re, Re select all of those objects now and block it together and rename it with a unique name. Go back into your edit tool on the library object and uh, adjust which CAD block in the 2D block um, tab there, adjust which block it that 3D, that library object needs to be pulling from. Now add that all back into your library, your custom library so that um, you can have it available for next time. I hope this has been a useful tip for you. If you do like it, please leave a thumbs up down there. As always, hit subscribe and check out my website, designbuildsolutionsllc.com, and one last plug for patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.